Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about what you and the person you're thinking about uh, feel about each other, what are the energies between you, and what can you expect in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Take what resonates for you, what applies for you. All right, so let's jump right in for Pisces, spirits, angels, guides. What do we need to know about the person that Pisces is thinking about connecting with at this time? How are they feeling about Pisces? What are they thinking about Pisces? I'm struggling. What are they feeling, thinking? What are the energies? Oh, let's take that one. I want forever with you, okay? What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person that Pisces is thinking about? What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is thinking about? Third thought. First Pisces. Past life. So you could have known this person in the past. Burning passion and intelligent, logical, and analytical. Yeah, there's a connection here, a very strong connection with burning passion in past life. You you probably already had some sort of a connection with this person. Maybe this is an ex. Um, this could also be someone from past life that you're meeting again. Intelligent, um, logical, and analytical. For some reason, I got that this person could be a student or studying something. Um, but it could just be that they're very smart. Um, this is someone possibly could be an air sign. I think it's passion and brains, you know, like it's not just a connection where the intimacy and the chemistry is great, but also there is genuine, you know, thoughtful conversations that you're having with them, etc. What else do we need to know? What are they, what are they thinking, feeling? They could also be just thinking about something very analytically, very logically, you know, trying to maybe figure something out, a, a problem that you might have here. We'll see. What else do we need to know about this person? What do they think you feel about Pisces? I dream of a future with you. This person's thinking about a future with you because they want forever with you here. And I dream of a future with you. I know deep down that you are my one true love. Oh, Yeah, this is, some, this is a very special connection. Um, this could be a soulmate. And they're thinking about, when, it, when they think about you, they're thinking about the future. A future where you're together. What else do we need to know for Pisces? What else do we need to know for Pisces? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Pisces? What are they thinking and feeling? So I'm going to be putting up three cards in the top for what they're thinking and feeling about you, and three cards in the bottom for their intentions or next actions towards you. So we'll see what we get. Two of Wands, Judgment, and the Emperor. Wow. Aries energy. I think they're thinking, of, this is them thinking about a future with you. They would have to make a judgment call though. Make some sort of decisive action with the Emperor. The Emperor is a doer. He's not just somebody that just shows up just because. They take charge. Knight of Wands, Reverse. Temperance, Sagittarius energy here. And Seven of Swords. Yikes, what in the world? Six of Cups reverse. So I feel like there's something... Um, hmm. If you were with this person in the past, it wasn't successful. Even in the past life. I feel like there's someone stuck in the past here for some reason. Like you're bound to repeat this cycle with each other or something like that. Um, I don't like this Knight of Wands reverse with the Seven of Swords. I'll be honest. I don't like that energy because I feel like this is someone that isn't thinking clearly before they make decisions. And so things tend to backfire for people like that. I feel like this person is trying to make something work though with temperance. Like they're trying to have harmony, balance. They're trying to make two very different things work. But I don't think that it's going to work the way that they're doing it. Um... I think that's why they're showing up as an emperor in judgment. It's almost like this person is trying... I think they're trying to be intelligent. They're trying to be um, 
smart or logical or extra analytical about a problem. I don't know what that problem is just yet, but there's a problem here that they're trying to solve or deal with, that they're struggling with. But I just don't know if they'll be successful here, Pisces. It's not a Wands Reverse and Seven of Swords. It's just someone that, I don't know, they, they, they screw themselves over. So Self-sabotage. What do we need to know? For Pisces, can we get some clarity, please? We're going to use energies for Pisces. What do we need to know? Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Four of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer. If you're dealing with a Cancer, you want to see that sign that, um, that not that sign, <laughs> that video that I did that would come out with this set of videos, the water signs. Um, so just check out my channel because it'll be right next to your video pretty much. Tell me about judgment. Ace of Wands, yeah, this person's unhappy and they're trying to change that. Yeah, they're out in the cold or they feel unsuccessful right now, they're struggling, and I feel like they wanna turn this around with judgment. I don't know, for some reason this involves you, can uh, Pisces, I was gonna say Cancer. This involves you. Um, I feel like maybe they are trying to solve a problem with you. I just can't see what it is just yet. But something must have happened for them to be in this energy. Because it's almost like they're looking for you. This Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles, it's like someone that's checked out, uh, closed off, or you know, kind of uh, out in the cold. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? Ten of Swords. Oh. I don't, you might have had an ending with this person. And so now they're like, well, now what would I do? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Something happened where this person, something happened with you, I feel. Or they could have had another breakup outside of you. But I think for a lot of you, there was there's a connection that didn't really take off or something must have ended before it started or something like that. And now this person's thinking, well, what do I do now? I'm stuck. I, I, I don't want to let Pisces go or I don't want this to be how things end between us or whatever this could be. So they're like in emperor mode trying to figure out what to do. Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Six of swords. Queen of Swords. This person might be coming over to talk to you. There's judgment. Interesting. So why the Knight of Wands reverse? I feel like this energy is someone that, you know, they have at least a goal in mind. They want to turn something around or have a new beginning. Get out of this energy here. So why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Page of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Judgment again. Interesting. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Swords. I feel like this person wants a second chance with you because they must have done something that wasn't smart. <laughs> I feel like this person screwed up. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ten of Wands. Why is the Seven of Swords here? They're dealing with the consequences of their own actions, I feel. Yep, Seven of Swords. I feel like this person, they did something they shouldn't have done or they screwed up. And I think, yeah, I think they realized that they screwed up. And so now with this two of cups here, 10 of wands, they're struggling with the fact that you're not uh, either, uh, there's, there's conflict now, five of wands. You're not getting along. Your connection has been damaged. You might have even blocked this person or 
told this person you're no longer interested in them. This could have happened a long time ago or recently. I don't think it really matters. But now they're thinking, how do I fix this? How do I fix this? Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Yeah, Knight of Wands. Tell me about temperance. The problem is that I think this person is, I don't think they've really had, I don't know, it's almost like they only know one way to do things. Here, the emperor here. And that is like with force. <laughs> this is someone that's like, I'm just gonna show up. The hangman. Hmm, the sun, ten of cups, nine of cups, temperance, and the ace of pentacles. This is what they're hoping. I feel like this is someone who's thinking, mm, maybe this, well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this knight of wands and this emperor might be a different approach that they're using. I think in their mind, being this energy, knight of wands and the emperor, being very active, proactive, and go-getter with you, I think they think that this is going to get them what they desire, happiness, stability. They'll be able to make you an offer. Interesting. What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions towards Pisces? They're thinking, well, if I use a different approach, maybe Pisces will listen. They're thinking about a future with you, so I think they're serious about taking this to the next level. It's just, I don't know if you'll be open to that, Pisces. Let me know in the comments if you would be open to a future with this person. What are their intentions towards Pisces? Yeah, beaver energy. I think that they are tr going to try to prove themselves to you. I think they're going to try to prove themselves to you because they're struggling without you here or struggling with what's happened. I don't think they picture a future without you, to be honest. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? False person, adjudication. Can I get one more? Hmm. You don't trust them. That's the problem. Adjudication, imprisonment, and mature man, and unexpected. Yeah, you don't trust them, even though their intentions, I feel, are good or at least the way they want to handle this is like a, a beaver which is very loyal giving provider type energy i think that they it's up to you this judication card is kind of like waiting for someone's decision waiting with expectation for a final outcome so i think they in their mind they have to come at you differently because you don't trust them you don't trust their intentions towards you and you would probably reject them off like just by looking at them and be like, no, I don't want to talk to you. I already told you I didn't want to talk to you or have anything to do with you. And they're like, no, but I'm, it's different now. Like, I'm serious about you. I'm serious about us. Give me a chance. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching this bonus reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.